morning, everybody. Got a load of PVC pipe under my tarps here. A little trickier to tarp up there. I'm a little bit nervous of uh, the corners up there. I don't think it's going to rip my tarps, but I'm going to keep my eye on it. It's a pretty smooth edge. It's just After I tightened everything down, I was looking at it like, ooh, maybe I should have done something about that. We'll see. Here's the back all wrapped up. My riser here that I did not need. I need to wash these tarps. This load is being delivered on Monday. I'm not going to make it there today before they close. Not even close. So I'm going to bring it to the yard and either me or a city driver will deliver it on Monday. I'd rather deliver it because then I know like, I'll get my tarps back right away. If the city driver delivers this, I just got to make sure that they uh, that I know where they leave my tarps. Just got my coffee ready to go. A little update on the uh, parking lot situation here in Fargo. They did actually listen to the complaints and the head office called down to the store and told them to stop letting people use the parking lot here as a storage yard. It's an overnight truck stop, it's not a storage yard. The reason I found this out is because the locals here had apparently gotten pretty used to just dumping all of their stuff here in their yard and just leaving it here. There was one guy in here, I guess his stuff maybe got towed. I don't know, but he was in there all frustrated with the, the staff, wondering why he couldn't leave his junk in the yard here for like days and days at a time. And they were trying to explain to him that it's an overnight truck stop. Guys who come in off the road need the trucks, like need the truck stop because they legally have to stop. They have to have a parking spot. They come in, they have a shower, they spend money in the store. It, it's what a truck stop is for. <laughs> and the guy was sitting there arguing with them. No, I should be able to park my like, a car, not a truck. He wanted to park his car in one of these spots back here for the rest of the week or for, for a week or so but they're still letting people, just a few. It's it's a lot better though. Today there's only, there's one rental truck over there and about, whoop, there's three, four, five, about six drop trailers in, my, in the yard. When I came here two weeks ago, there was half the lot. No, what did I say? About a third of the lot was drop trailers. I don't know, about half the parking spots were taken up by people just dropping their junk here, just leaving it here for days and days. And when I went and talked to the management inside, they said, yeah, we don't know who these people are. They just think that the parking lot is free for everybody to use for whatever reason. And they'll come here, they'll park their like utility trailers here in the back for their pickup, just go and park it. Not even in the back sometimes, probably like sometimes like right up in the front and they'll just leave it there for a week. So from what I've gathered, the update is that head office must've gotten involved they called down here, everything got towed out, and everyone's wondering, like, well, what happened to my stuff? How come I can't leave my stuff here for two weeks at a time? It's good to know that they're actually cleaning it up because last time I was here, I was very disappointed. I was not gonna come here again. But now, you know, the, the, they'll continue getting my business because we come through here like every week. I'll keep stopping by here. I just need a place to park. That's the only reason I don't stop here. There's no place to park. I can't come in and spend money. I want to come in, have a shower, spend some money. I don't know. I haven't released the video of me talking about it yesterday yet, so I don't know what your opinions are on this yet. So what do you think down below in the comment section? Does it frustrate you when people use these lots as like a storage yard? I mean, there are storage yards that you can leave your stuff at. You just got to pay for it. They're leaving. They're just leaving it here for free without asking. I find that kind of rude. Wonderful. Wonderful rain. It's very wet outside. Where was this rain earlier, you know? Where was it last year? Was it last year that was so dry? Or was it the year before? We had like five years of such dry summers. I remember we had trouble getting our lawn to grow. That was back when we lived in the bush. Yeah, 
it was so dry. And now, this past year, it's been so, it's, it's not even been wet, it's been soggy. Very soggy. And next year it might be dry again, who knows? Things are always changing. Always have been. I like to say and remind myself, you know, the land I'm driving on right now was once under a mile of ice. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> to think that, look up, one mile up there in the sky, that's how high the ice sheet was, right here. I'd say things have been warming up for a little while. Kind of worked out well for me because now I have uh, property and land up in Manitoba. That would have been impossible before. Wouldn't it be neat to be able to go back in time like 25,000 years and just see how different things would be? That's the thing about time travel though, eh? Yeah, we're gonna talk about time travel on Trucker Josh. Traveling back in time is not just about traveling through time backwards, it's also about traveling through space backwards. Because the Earth right now is in a spot in the universe that it has never been in before. If we wanna go back even one year in time, not only do we have to get the time right, we have to get the place right. If I were to go back in time one year to this exact spot in the universe, I would be sitting out in the middle of space. Earth wouldn't even have arrived at this point in space yet because our solar system and our galaxy is moving through space. So one day when we invent the time machines, we're also gonna have to take into account you know, where in time are we going, right? Physically where? Where was the Earth? one year ago in relation to where it is now in space. Deep thoughts that you never thought you'd hear on Trucker Josh, I know. I keep surprising you. That's how you know we're driving through North Dakota. It's a state where the mind will wander. There's not much else to keep it busy out here. Look, four grain bins. That's the most excitement I've had in about an hour. Oh, there's a couple more over there. There's a big party of grain bins over there. This is a very exciting state. <laughs> I should say, the western part of North Dakota is actually really beautiful. It's uh, well, it's a rolling hills. And Manitoba is exactly the same, so. I like it though, it's quiet. So many other parts of this world are so overpopulated and people are everywhere. I like living out here. Yeah, it gets cold in the winter time, but it's quiet. It's quiet and boring, and you know what? That's all right. I like it that way. Change. Somebody just called me on the CB. I heard something trucker Josh, and I said, what's that? And I couldn't quite understand what he said. Something about coffee. He was like, oh, you caught me. I'm stopping for coffee, so if that was you, Sorry, I couldn't quite catch what you said, but uh, that was me. No more trailer behind me. Just unhooked. I put her right here in the lineup. Looking pretty between the van trailers. Look at her. Did you just look at her? I'm coming back for you, okay? Have a good weekend. You're in charge, okay? You take care of all these dry vans. Make sure they stay out of trouble. You know how the dry vans are, party animals. All right? See you on Monday. That's a pretty looking trailer. All right, time to go back to my shop. <clears throat> the convoy for Special Olympics is tomorrow. There's also a truck show in Plum Coulee. 
I'd like to be at both of them, but we also have an appointment in Winnipeg, so I know I can't be probably at either of them. Maybe I can do the convoy. Every year, Winnipeg does a convoy for Special Olympics. It's a fundraiser. They meet here in Ildeshane, just down the road, and then they do one lap around the perimeter. As like a big giant convoy, you honk your horns, you wave at the kids, and you raise money for Special Olympics. I'd like to be at that. I think I could be at that and still make it to our, our appointment. Just then I may not have time to run and get the part I need to fix my truck on my own. So, uh, we'll see. Because the starter still works. It's just, it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't want to turn the engine over and sometimes it does. So if I can get it running tomorrow, maybe I'll bring it out to the convoy for Special Olympics. If not, I'm going to have to, uh, well, I'm going to have to get it running to get it over to the, the shop to fix it, you know? It's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I do know it's my wedding anniversary today, and I better get home. That's all I know. So this is actually the first time I've shut this truck off in about three days. Because the starter wasn't working properly. And of course, now that I have it in the shop, it's working just fine. Let's go try it one more time for the camera. See if she'll behave for you. going on. Starter seems to be working just fine now. I'm still gonna have to get it looked at because it wasn't working so fine last time I shut it off. Old Blue, you playing tricks on me. I've been doing this a long time, man. You can't do that to me. It's not very nice. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. This whole time I was like, well, I'm gonna have to replace the starter. I probably should replace it, right? It was in Kenora last, I shut it off for night. And then in the morning, all the starter would do is neen, neen, but it wouldn't engage the engine. So I'm wondering, cause it's all warmed up now, right? So I've been scared to shut her off while I'm out on the road. I was gonna shut her off here, this way at least I'm at home. I wonder if tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come back here and get my stuff out of here in the morning. I wonder if it'll give me the same issues then. Maybe it's after the engine cools down, then it doesn't wanna work. I'll have to experiment with that tomorrow. Either way, I've gotta get it looked at. Either way. The starter's on its way out. You can't play games with me, old blue. Okay? We're partners. Not cool. Not cool. But it's okay, I forgive you. I forgive you, I still, I still love you. You're beautiful, okay? Okay, you, you got some miles on you. If you need a new starter, I'll give you a new starter. Okay, we're home now, so if you need a new starter, you gotta tell me now. Don't tell me when I'm out on the road. That doesn't help anybody. You gotta let me know when I have the ability to fix you. I don't mind fixing you. We gotta work together here. We gotta come up with a system. 